Hello everyone, welcome back to Odo 14 development. In the previous video, we were discussing about Odo security and it was about access rights. We, we had a look at the, how we can create new security groups, user groups through user interface and how we can assign a group to a specific user and how we can assign access to uh, any record any business object the create access right write delete only this kind of access how we can set it to a specific group and also using a csv file and xml file how we can add these access rights in this video we are still continuing the next area of Odo security and it is called record rules. So a record rules uh, restricts, the, restricts the access uh, right to a subset of records. That means uh, for an example, you may have access to the leads, but you will not have all the leads. You can only have access, you only uh, have access to those leads that you are that leads that are assigned to you okay so these kind of uh, access rights are securities are configured using record rules in Odo. so i hope you understand what uh, what we are saying so it's a uh, like uh, not giving access to all the leads it's a uh, giving access to a set of leads a, a subset of leads so that's a uh, that's a concept of record rules so a, this record rule is a uh, element uh, is a record of the model ir dot rule and this is associated to a model and uh, we will specify um, we can specify number of uh, groups more than one uh, groups those have access to uh, these subset of uh, records and uh, we can give the uh, permission what are the uh, permission these groups can have on these records like read write uh, create unlink this uh, this kind of uh, access and also uh, we can provide a domain a domain that uh, that specifies the subset okay that defines the subset of that uh, model and also we have to mention on which model we are setting this uh, record rule so <clears throat> this is uh, the basics of a record rule and uh, you may have seen this kind of record uh, this kind of restriction in Odoo uh, all around Odoo uh, we can take some example and then we can go to our open academy module and create a record rule on our open academy module so let's go to our add-on first to, uh, to take some examples we can search for ir.rules so you can see a lot of lot of examples that are there and we can take something um, familiar let's change the location to see um, yep personal leads you see so this is a uh, record rule so this is personal leads and let's say it is uh, defined on model crm rule okay uh, sorry uh, crm lead uh, is the model and the domain is user id is equal to user dot id or user id is equal to false so when uh, it is applicable for salesman okay so for a salesman a, a lower level user of a sales he can only have access to the leads that are assigned to him 
and a lead that is not assigned to anyone okay so this is uh, what this uh, record rule says then uh, there is a multi company record rule so uh, it says uh, the company id should uh, should be false or it is it will be available in the company ids in the context so this is the uh, some examples that we can see then uh, this is the crm all leads rule so domain force is uh, nothing says one is equal to one so uh, nothing there is no domain uh, that means we can see all the leads and it is for salesman or leads group so this is how uh, a normal a simple record rule will look like so now we can create we can create a record rule in our open academy module so the record rule that we are create is we are creating a record rule that will restrict write and unlink access to only uh open academy managers and those should be the responsible of the course and then if there is no uh, responsible for a course any user can have uh, have the access to modify the records modify those courses so that's what we are going to do okay so uh, we are creating this using xml uh, xml uh, records so uh, it will be under our security.xml file or any records that you can create and you have to mention that uh, in in any file that you can create uh, and you have to mention that in your in your manifest file that's all so it's not mandatory that should be uh, the record rule should be on security.xml file you can put that in anywhere in uh, module but it's the standard procedure so this is the record rule that we are going to add so only responsible can modify so that's uh, our uh, id of the record rule and the model he is given ir dot rule and then this is uh, the name only responsible can modify courses and then model id is given model underscore open academy underscore course then the groups here you can add multiple groups okay so uh, now we only given single group uh, it can have many to many uh, multiple uh, groups so here open academy group manager is given and permission read is zero permission write one permission create is zero permission unlink one then domain force responsible id is equal to false or responsible id is equal to user dot id user dot id means the current user id so those who are logged in currently so he can access a user that is logged into the open academy module he can modify the courses that he is responsible of or no one is responsible okay that's how uh, the record rule is going to work so now we have added this in our security.xml so we already added the security.xml in manifest file though so we don't need to do anything further so let's uh, without need you we can go to the apps and upgrade the module sorry Okay, let's. Uh, it's in the super user mode, our favorite. So now we don't need the super user mode. Let's, since we have added security for our records, we can. Hmm, open, yes. Open Academy update. now this open academy there's no courses for me so 
everything is read only now let's go to the settings and give some access to the admin user let's make him open academy manager save let's go back to open academy Now you can see access error. Hope you uh, understood. So this course two is uh, respond uh, is assigned for Joe Wheels. He is the responsible of course two. Now this Michael admin is the login user. He is trying to modify this record. Okay. So this is what uh, system says. Due to security restrictions, you are not allowed to modify Open Academy courses. Records number is given, uh, its name is also given, and for the user, it is restricted, but it's also given. This is restriction is due to the following rule, and the name of the rule is given. Only responsible can modify courses. Found at your administrator request to access if necessary. So, this is how the system will react to any attempt that uh, tries to uh, modify these records. So uh, this is only for uh, editing this, uh, modifying these records. Even we can uh, make it invisible by setting this permission read true. So uh, he, the customer, uh, sorry, the user will not be able to see this record in his user interface. It will be hidden for him. So uh, now it's only uh, permission uh, write and permission unlink is uh, enabled. So this uh, only the responsible can modify these things, but everyone can read. So that's uh, uh, that's how the record rules are working. So if if we have a new record i can create new records there is no problem for that course three and i can save and there is no responsible right now so that uh, anyone can modify even i can modify or any user can modify there is no responsible now uh, michael admin is the person and still he can modify he can edit things i can give description whatever i want but if i change this to someone else like mark demo or something now now i cannot make any changes you see so it's assigned to someone else from there onwards i cannot make any changes so that's how the record rules will work. You can you can define different concepts, different structures, different architecture using this uh, record rules. How do how do we keep you uh, make use of this concept in a multi-company environment? And thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any doubts or clarification needed, you can put that under the comment section. We will try our best to answer your queries. Thanks for watching once again.